All right, on number 11, it says the dot plots below show the number of hours two students spent on homework for the past three weeks, which statement is supported, basically true, by the information in the dot plots below. And we made these changes before you started the test. Um, so here we go. Uh, a says student A has a larger spread of hours than student B. So let's see, the spread goes from 1 to 6. That's a spread of 5 or a range of 5. And then we go from 1 to 6 here, which is the same range of 5. So to say that 1 has a larger, that's not true. B says student A has a center of 3 and student B has a center of 4. So for that I'm going to take a large and a small and meet in the middle. to find my center and really it's here in the hour of 3 so student A has a center of 3 also known as the median and let's work on student B large and small and 4 is my center for student B so let's read that again. Student A has a center of 3, yes. And student B has a center of 4. Ah. Okay, so that's a good question or a good um, answer choice. Let's look at the rest. The median for student A is greater than the median for student B. So median for student A is 3. But that's not greater than the median, so that's not true. And the shapes of both plots are symmetrical. Um, they're they're kind of symmetrical to each other, but um, no, they are not symmetrical. Um, they're not symmetrical. So B is the best answer for number 11.